Ah, here we are. You were unconscious? Oh. Guess I passed out. <laughs> Don't remember doing that. Um, I need to make some more sprinklers. My thing is, is I may have to just get rid of the middle plants for these. I don't want to do it. Or, no, I have to, I have to. But I can't even water my plants right now anyways, because I gotta go get my, um, or my watering can. Watering, I mean, wait, not watering. Harvesting uh, coffee is so, uh, like aesthetically pleasing. Like it feels very nice to do. Oh wait, don't I need that corn? Where did it just go? I do need that corn. Okay. What happened during the green rain? It was crazy. It was really bizarre. Here, you know what? I will... Oh, I need to get some melons. I did not forget about the melons because I need to get some gold ones for the community center. And I think I literally just need one or something. Oh my god, they locked, they trapped me with eggs. No, sorry. I do need to make some more of those too, which means I need to go to the mines. Lots to do. Let's go get my watering can though. Can't do anything without that. At least it'll be a little upgraded. Hallelujah. And we um, we unlocked the mine carts last time. And I'm slowly making my way to doing the bus repair. So I'm too early. I'll just fish for a second. <clears throat> is the green wine, the green wine, is the green wine only once per year? Um, from what I understand from what chat told me, yes, it's like once every summer. Which makes it all the more exciting. The green wine. Yay! Thank God. I don't have any geodes, right? Oh, no, I do. I have one. Where did that thing come from? Who knows? Sweet. Okay, I gotta go to the community center. You got green rain in spring? Oh. Oh, so it's just random then? actually kind of cool. I thought it was always in summer. Actually, I was assuming it was like on summer on a specific day every year. But that's kind of cool that it's not. Like it's a little more rando. I think I need to go this way. Sturdy sweep! Woo! Oh, sorry. Bunny princess. I forgot to put the, uh, I forgot to put the fishing thing on so you didn't get your fish. I will give it to you now though. There you go. Where does this go? Is it down here? I swear I'm losing my mind. I can't find it. Oh, maybe it is on the bulletin board. I need to go back and watch the recent starter stream. I don't think I've uploaded it yet on YouTube. I'm, I've been kind of busy. There we go. Now I just need three apples. And you know what? <gasps> Richie, make me the 500 biddies. An oatmeal container, a wooden ball. Thank you, Leah, for the 10 gifted. 
Wow, thank you! I appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. You're so nice. Enjoy your 10 fish as well. Oh, melons. Oh, what was that? Trout Derby. I have not seen that yet. And just like that, everything's back to normal. It's like magic. She's talking about the green rain. Do they all say something about it? Well, looks like we all got scared for nothing. The rain was totally harmless. Wait, really? Well, I'm glad things are back to normal. It seems like it was just all overblown, just like everything. Oh. Oh, I forgot to sell these. Yeah, just take them. Three. Friendly reminder that you are amazing, Vix love, Vix love. Oh, thank you, Nalakai, for the 300 bees. That was so nice. And thank you, Melon, for the new sub as well. Let's buy that as well. I think I'm okay on everything else. Oh, could I have upgraded my inventory? This is 10K, right? I think I will be doing that next. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll try to catch these sunfish real quick. Oh, Patrick! <laughs> I love that we can fish at the same time. Isn't that great, chat? Isn't that just so cute? This fish is kind of crazy. Oh my god, you got Yuna! <laughs> I'm screaming Yuna! <laughs> I love that picture. These are not sunfish, dude. These are crazy, wacky cuckoo fish. Otherwise known as pike. People who fish together stay together. So true. Maybe all the guys on dating apps who have who are holding up a fish have a chance. Do any girls look at those pictures and go, mmm, scrumptious. <laughs> Yummy! Look at that fish! <laughs> From the cornfields can confirm. I guess if you were like a country girl, then maybe it would be your thing. One guy smelt like a fish. I'm really sorry to hear that. The fish guy's picks are the scariest breed of men. But why are there so many of them? And why do they all post the same picture? What, like, what is, this has to be like, this has to be a psychological thing. It shows they can provide. <laughs> I don't know why I'm gonna be loud. That's funny to me. <laughs> like by holding up a fish. <coughs> How do I know you even caught that fish? How do I know? You could be lying. <laughs> oh wait, this is quality fertilizer. Oh, actually, yeah, that, that'll be good. That's so funny. It's the only time they get someone to take a photo of them. Seriously. Men will be in no pictures except of ones holding fish. You know what? We should all strive to be pooky. You know what I'm saying? 
Get yourself a man that will set up a camera and go, Pookie is looking absolutely fire today. Or a group photo and you don't know which one is him. Those are so annoying. <laughs> I know what you mean. Okay, well, I need to go... I really don't want the sword. Can I be honest? I'm not gonna go sell it. I'm just gonna throw it in the trash. Um, yeah, I literally need one more golden melon. How annoying is that? I need to go to the mines, get some more earth crystals, make some more mayonnaise machines. I don't think I have any earth crystals at all. No, I also need more copper. But I'll take these with me. But you already have two. Two what? I might have missed the joke. <laughs> I got catfish so hard on Tinder once I deleted instantly. No! Golden melons. Oh my god, thank you so much for saying that, Lily. It's a titty joke. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Not you having to explain it. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm telling you, I've only been on a dating app one, like literally for like probably a day. And then was like, I can't do this. I was like, you know what? Some things just aren't for me. I just don't think I'd ever be a dating app girl. Too scary. I'm just, I can't do it. <clears throat> I'd rather be single than have to do that again. Dude, so wait, it looked like a lot of the trees that spawned during the green rain stayed. Because I swear there weren't this many trees before. No, we need to go to the easy ones, easy mines. We're looking for copper and earth crystals, mostly. If anything else pops up, that's great. My energy's gone. Are you serious? That happened that fast? I know it's perfectly normal, but I hate when they flirt like immediately. And I know the point of it's a dating app, but I hate when they call me like cutie or something in the first three messages. Yeah, I actually totally understand. There's something about it that almost gives me the ick. Oh, hey, look. Like, I don't know you like that, you know? Like, I think, like, here's the thing. I, I feel like guys who even come up to you and are like, oh, I thought you were really pretty and, like, want to talk to you. I'm like, <laughs> Like, I just don't like that either. I just don't like it at all. If I'm not meeting someone through a mutual friend, it's just, I don't think I will even, like, I don't think I can do it. I just get too weirded out. Please don't perceive me. I mean, at least there's the internet. Like, one of my friends, she does like cosplay and stuff. And she um, she's a content creator. And she met her boyfriend through TikTok. And I didn't like, ask, I didn't ask too many questions because I thought it would be weird. But I was like wondering, I'm like, how through TikTok? Like, did he comment on something and you were like, oh, he's cute? Cause like that I think is cute. Well, I see that I feel like is, is better. You guys can't delete TikTok. You, like the government can't delete TikTok. It's bringing couples together. <laughs> And he literally, he's like obsessed with her. Like in the best way possible. And I'm like, like literally, if you go to any of his social media pages, he just reposts everything she posts. Just pictures of her, the whole thing. I'm just like, see, that is so cute. That's so sweet. I love that. 
I really love that for her. I'm very happy for her. My friend met her husband in a TikTok live. Hold on, now wait, now that's a little different. TikTok lives are terrifying. Have you ever seen one? You don't know what the hell you're gonna get with a TikTok live. I highly recommend going and watching, who posted it? Was it, was it Brittany Broski or was it Cody Ko? They did a collab recently. It was Brittany Broski. Her and Cody Ko did a collab and they watched TikTok lives. You need to go watch that video. It is so funny. Link, please. Oh, <laughs> there you go. There's the link. It's such a funny video. I am a huge fan of both Cody Ko and Brittany Broski, so. Very funny. And it's true, TikTok lives are wild. After watching this video, I started really like paying more attention to the lives that come up when I'm scrolling through TikTok. And it's really something. I like scrolled Pi one the other day and it was just somebody just viciously sobbing. And I was like, are we okay? I keep getting those whispering ones. Well, like ASMR? It'll be weird. I'll, I'll get like, oh, I'll get like one really, really random one. And then the next one will be like, so guys, here are all the wigs we have for sale. I like the live so they do lottery scratch parts. Like why can you literally do anything on a, ooh, on a TikTok live? It's hilarious. Oh, you know what? I I scroll past um, Glue on a lot on TikTok. Like when I'm scrolling, sometimes it'll be like a live of Glue on stream, and it always makes me laugh so much because you can see like both cameras, like the angles. If you can see like the side cam, it makes me laugh every time I see it. It's just so funny. <laughs> Perma side cam is hilarious. Did he do that just to like fill in space? Oh, it's midnight. Cause that's super funny. Not a lot of earth crystals, huh? I gotta ask him. I'm pretty sure that's why he did it. It does make sense though, cause it's it's not quite as nice when you like see a live stream of like somebody streaming on Twitch on TikTok. Does that make sense? Um, and it's got like a, the black bars. It definitely doesn't look as nice. So if that's why he did it, then I actually uh, totally agree with his decision. We found two with crystals. Wait, that's actually perfect. Copper bar. Oh, that's what I need to make. I don't have any copper bars. Let's just throw some of those bad boys in the oven. And now I'm out of copper again, just like that. It happens really fast. Pickled carrot. I love that they're uh, color coded now. That's actually really cute. Hopefully that'll, I'll have enough for um, a bag upgrade tomorrow. Cause I'd love to upgrade my bag. <clears throat> have y'all gotten the ones of the cheating monster high dolls? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so funny. I live for the drama though. 
What else did I need for these? Stone and wood. talking about big dogs that just plop into your lap. Yuta does that a lot. You know it's because dogs can't like perceive themselves. They don't know their size and they also don't know that they're dogs. That's why like little dogs will be like to big giant animals. They don't know how big they are. Isn't that funny? Doesn't that make them all the more lovable? They quite literally don't know what's going on. They're just vibing all the time. Ain't that sweet? I cry sometimes just looking at mine. I do the same thing. <laughs> I mean, how could we not? They're perfect in every way. I don't know what the hell I have planted right here. Do I have anything planted here? No. I'm gonna redo this, I think, when fall comes around. I think it could be better. to try to upgrade my inventory today. To max. Thank you for that. That was completely useless. Thank you for coming. Have a good rest of your evening. Oh, I should have talked to everyone yesterday. They were talking about the thing. The green rain. Uh, oh, well. Oh, I gotta get to the sunfish. SJ Palm Tree, thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I thought that was because of... I thought it was that. It was the other fishing game. <gasps> Gamer Beyonce! <laughs> <laughs> I need to add some more in there now that I'm home. You know what? I never even think to buy bombs from the dwarf. One down, three to go. How do I get a sturgeon? Um, you can look it up on the Stardy Wiki. It'll tell you like what kind of weather and season and stuff you need. That's what I usually do. Cause I always forget. <laughs> stuff Lynn, thank you for the 10 months. <clears throat> do you have the bait maker yet? Um, I think I have the crafting recipe for it? I haven't made it though, I think. I do, oh, I don't have a, I don't have the materials for it. Mm. 
Oh, I see what you mean, because I could get sunfish bait. I gotta go check the, uh, the beach. I gotta unlock the other section of the beach, because then I can get, like, a sea urchin and stuff. Well, we're six wood closer to unlocking it. Cool. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Leah, thank you for the five gifted! Hold on, sorry, I'm concentrating. This fish is going crazy. Thank you so much! The ducky is cute, isn't it? I feel like they can't really top it now. Who's your favorite spouse? I like Sebastian. I just love an emo boy. You know what though? I feel like I like an emo boy in theory, but not in real life. Finally, I got another one. Emo girls? Different story. Three! Sebastian is an emo geek, which is the top tier combo. That's true. I just want a sunfish. Sunfish! I've been having a craving to go to uh go to the Waffle House. Ladies and gentlemen, the volume inside what? of this bus is astronomical. Anderson, thank you for the five gifted as well. You guys are literally spoiling me today. Thank you. That is so nice. here for a bit. My dog does the trick, shut the door, which is very handy, but I just asked him to do it and he looked at me and then walked out of the room. <laughs> that has husky energy. Sometimes you tell a husky to do something and they look at you and then just turn around and walk away. They're like, but what if I didn't do that? I think I will. <laughs> I love when dogs have um a little bit of sass. <laughs> it makes me laugh. And I have the perfect dog for that, truly. In real life, I'm a broker in real estate and my bank is broke. Are you serious? <laughs> is that for real? Or is that a joke? <laughs> I can't tell if you're being serious. I thought brokers make a lot of money. Mm. Leah, thanks for gifting another sub. Do you have a favorite dog breed beside a husky? I love Shiba Inus. I think they're so cute. They're actually pretty similar to huskies in terms of like temperament, but they're smaller and not as fluffy. But they're so cute. Just love a sassy vocal dog. Dude, 
I'm flying on this. Love a sheep. Um, let me think of another one. <clears throat> what other dog breed do I love? Oh, I love the King Charles Cavalier Cocker Spaniel. I forget, the, they have a crazy long name. But they're so cute. I've always loved those. I remember I wanted one so bad growing up and they were so expensive. Cal Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Yeah. There you go. They have a really long name. <laughs> They're so cute. Actually, I think uh, Claire Siobhan has one. If you guys know her, she's a fellow Simmer. She has one. And it's so cute. I just love them. Oh, Dobermans are so cute. I could see myself with a Doberman, for sure. I love big dogs, though. I'm trying to sell these before he, <laughs> before he quits for the day. I was trying to get to 10K. I think I'm just barely not gonna make it. <laughs> you used to have a Chow mixed retriever. I don't even, I can't even imagine in my head what that would look like. Bubbles over there. You have a pit bull pug mix? Now how did that happen? Yay, I made it! I'm gonna have no money left. Guys, I unlocked a cat and like a slime bowl? Dude! Let's do the cat. <laughs> That's so cute. I kind of want to try the slime ball too. Do you think I can still get this? Wait, how do y'all do it again? I forgot how to do it. Not paying attention. How would you get to this? How do you move it again? How do you move it? I'm I'm doing WASD, but it's not working. Try it again. Oh, I just can't reach it. them unreachable I'm out of here I guess everyone in town was scared of that strange rain I had no idea I just thought it was incredible seems like there's no damage or anything that was a strange one how are you holding up 
doing great. Thank you for asking. I love that I just didn't go upgrade my inventory like I said I would. She's doing great. That's good water. I'm gonna get some more wood because I feel like I need to fix that bridge on the beach. <clears throat> Wait, I just found radioactive goggles. How, 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 how did I just find radioactive goggles? Anybody know how I just found this? What? <laughs> what the heck? What? <laughs> what? What the what? <laughs> you look like a fly. Where do these come from? Are they from the rain? That's what I was thinking. You can get clothes while chopping trees and stuff. What? That is wackadoodle. <laughs> you look Gorgina. Thank you. have enough wood to fix the bridge. Okay. I am gonna put my hat back on, let's be serious right now. Look at that. found some very interesting things out there. You should wear those goggles to your Stardew wedding. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine? Is it gonna rain tomorrow? Nope. As soon as it's gonna rain again, I'm telling you, I'm upgrading this watering can again. Like my life depends on it. Oops. I downloaded Stardew Valley Expansion and it's amazing. I've never played it. I've heard amazing things though. I should put a sprinkler here. I'm mostly just waiting to like redo my farm layout before I do all that, all the sprinklers. But, do I need this? No, oh, refined quartz, not, not this. 
I do need an iron bar. What do I not need then? Oh, copper? Silly girl. Okay. Let me put this down right here. How did I just notice the hat? <laughs> That's part of my, it's part of my beauty. I'm missing a chicken out there. Where'd they go? Found him. This song is so good. Da, da, da. <gasps> my kitty. No, I can't get to my cat. Oh well. All right, I'm gonna go upgrade my inventory. I'm so excited. And then we'll be able to fish and mine like crazy. I think we're gonna marry Penny. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my God, it's closed. I don't know what Penny likes though. And why don't we just look it up? Penny likes, or no, she loves. Oh, she loves diamonds and melons. And emeralds. Okay, I can give her diamonds probably. I should have got the wood. I could have fixed the bridge. Speak of the devil, hello. Diamonds are truly a girl's best friend, and that is so true. Ooh. What did I get? Pumpkin seeds. Do you like the bear I put out here? <laughs> Isn't it cute? It fits so perfectly. 20. That's pretty good. Where can I find a carp? Up here, Mountain Lake. That's what I thought. I think being a dog groomer would be really tough. Grooming my own dog is impossible. I can't even imagine. Oh, wait, y'all, hold on. I could also upgrade my house. Wait, that could be kind of fun. Maybe I do that instead. I can get 10K pretty fast. I also do want a barn. But now that I have mayonnaise, I feel fine. I feel like I can get money faster. My dog gets anxious farts every time I give him a bath. <laughs> Not the anxious farts. I know I need a little bit more wood. I don't have quite enough. So I'm just chopping all of these down on the way home. <clears throat> if you guys are playing this, how far have you made it? Because I feel like I would have made it a lot further if I wasn't just playing this one on stream. Because believe me, I really want to play it all the time. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
You're in fall? Fall year two? Oh, I have just enough. stuff down. Oh my god, so good. Oh no, I'm gonna upgrade my house. I decided to, to do something else with my wood. So I need 450. I muted my stream and I was like, why is Sasha being so quiet? <laughs> ASMR! <laughs> use my 10k on the bus stop. That's true. There are lots of things I can use my 10k on. Some probably more logical than others. But I live for the aesthetic, so I'm upgrading my house. Bye, money. <laughs> bye bye. Which mod hates the whispering? Isn't it Lexi? Okay, let's try to get these carps. I saw you decorated your farm, so now I rushed to decorate mine. I didn't do too, too much. I just put down a couple of paths. I just started it. And some lights, because it was so dark. I can't see a thing out there. The path does make a big difference. I'm playing Animal Crossing and the eggs are driving me insane. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, it's Easter season. I totally forgot <laughs> how annoying it is. Forgot about that. It's mostly annoying because you'll be like, oh, I want to go fish or dig up fossils. And it's just like, egg, 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 egg after egg. The fossils on my island anymore just don't exist. <laughs> it's so annoying. I know your pain. This could be a carp, maybe. Nope. Chub. Ooh. Oh god, my energy. Oh wait, this could be a carp. I feel like carps don't move. Yay! To Caroline! Caroline, bum bum bum. The cat barber's precious. I want to try out the little slime one too. That one was also new and it looks so cute. Where is Caroline, you think? At the shop? Oh my god, it's closed on Wednesdays. What the heck am I supposed to do? Is she out here? Oh my gosh, she's not outside. What is a girl supposed to do? I've got two days. Oh man. Mm. 
I don't think she goes anywhere else. Not the carp surprise. Hey kid, you're too young to be moping around in a place like this. Oh. Doesn't she like uh, Amethyst? Yeah. This will protect me on those late nights working at the saloon. I feel like that's new dialogue. I've never heard anyone say that before. No, I don't have time to chat with you. Oh, okay. My energy is really low. I'm just gonna go home. She's at the fountain until 5 p.m. on Wednesdays. Oh man, is she still there? <laughs> no, probably not. Oh, well, it's fine. I can give it to her tomorrow. Don't sell the carp. Don't sell the carp. This is a message to myself. Do not sell the carp. Okay, we're good. Wheels? Hmm. What should I do? I never know what to do for foraging. This one? I always do gatherer. Yeah, and I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Sweet Caroline. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Annoyed, great. Clear and sunny. Are we about to have another drought? Yes. My blooms are done. We can go. Misa, thank you for the sub. Welcome in. Oh my God, dude, these ants tore up my freaking feet yesterday. Oh my God. So itchy. Ciao. Why did you do that thing if you're gifting five subs? Oh my God, my foot itches so bad. Oh my God, okay. They got me good, y'all. I went out there in Crocs. I must have stepped in it like an ant pile or something <laughs> without realizing. They came at my feet with a vengeance. I wanna see what people's... Oh, <laughs> Isabel! I love to see what people fish up. I love that this is a good fishing game. Like I can just leave the fishing thing down there. It makes me so happy. All right, beautiful. I didn't put the bloom in there? Oh, Marlin. Okay. When are they gonna start giving me big eggs? 
besides the first two. Give that to Caroline. Sweet Caroline. Dude. My foot. Howie. Why would they do that? Invasive crab species. I don't really like doing that one, to be honest. Now the song stuck in my head. Me too. <laughs> I can't keep singing it in my own mind. I decided I'm gonna make a robot someday. That should be very easy for you. Are you sure you're not just trying to flatter me? I was. Where is your wife? I have fish for her. There we go. When old customers at work struggle to open the door, I find myself saying, open the door in your voice. You know what you should say? Open the door or I'm gonna throw rocks through your windows, you dumb whore. You should say that. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> I'm gonna throw rocks through your window. <laughs> you dumb whore. He has just such a way with words. Very nice. Oh, I should check my cave. Now that it's like out of the way, I hardly ever remember to look in there. He is a doctor after all. Man, you're so right. Whose voice is that? That's Dr. Phil. The one, the only. There's wormies up there. I gotta go get them. All of that, just for some coal. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go get some more copper, I think. I'd like to make some more sprinklers. What do I need for these? More copper and hardwood. I think it would be nice to have. I'm just like completely depleted. So many rocks down here, not a single one is the gateway below. Never mind, found it. The only angry man I find attractive is Gordon Ramsay. We were talking about this the other day. He has this sort of like energy to him that is attractive. It's a confidence, you know? He knows what he's doing. But you know what I was thinking? You know, like his shows 
you know when like every once in a while he'll be like i'm gonna show you how it's done right and then you get to see him make it and everyone's like wow he's amazing do you think that he ever like messes up and they have to retake the shot like he has to start over Like, sometimes I wonder. I'm like, do you think he ever, like, borks it? No, he's perfect. Oh, never mind. If he told me to sit down, I would. He'd be like, I'm sad. <laughs> I've always asked myself this question. Yeah, I've always wondered. And how embarrassing would that be? If everyone, like, was ready to see, like, the... Gordon Ramsay the Great, you know? Cook up a meal and then he like messes it up. I mean, I don't know how often that happens for him, but like, surely it's a possibility. Have you seen him make scrambled eggs? No. Why do you ask? A carving knife? Call him Gaddy. Have you seen him make grilled cheese? No. Actually, wait, no, yes, I have. You know what? I watched a video of him the other day. Um, on how to cut an onion, like how to dice it up. Because I always forget. I probably watched that video 10,000 times. It's just the one I always go to. Oh my god, let me in. He can't make grilled cheese, but that's fine. I can. <laughs> what do you mean he can't make grilled cheese? Am I thinking of a different video? make grilled cheese. He can do anything. He's Gordon Ramsay. He overcomplicates simple foods like grilled cheese. Oh, does he make like a gourmet one or something? being Gordon Ramsay. Think of all the incredible food that he's probably had in his lifetime. And a simple grilled cheese maybe just doesn't do it for him do it for him anymore, you know? He's like this isn't actually good. Maybe he like maybe being such a good chef is a curse. Cuz you can't enjoy like a simple, you know, instant ramen out of the packet. Hi Sammy. This is for mortals. <laughs> oh, the mortals want me to teach them how to make a grilled cheese. <laughs> he is grilled cheeses. <laughs> I mean, but we have to be honest with ourselves. I bet his grilled cheese is like slapping. Gordon can cook my eggs if you know what I mean. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do think I know what you mean. Collectively horny everyone is for Gordon Ramsay. I feel bad for his wife.
He has a wife? Yeah, he has kids. Yeah, he's ma he's been married since 1996. To me! Surprise! <laughs> this is how y'all found out! <laughs> he married you at three? <laughs> Maybe I'm not as young as I said I was. <laughs> Can you imagine? I've got like a Hannah Montana double life situation going on. That would be too much work. I'm sorry, I wouldn't be able to do all that. <laughs> so I'm just secretly 40. I'm 26, okay? Monster Slayer goal complete. Dude, I hardly ever do those. Do I pull a chance and get sweet and sour chicken, hold the sweet and sour? <laughs> Wait, what's the point of the sweet and sour then? That's the best part. Just like Gluon's 26? Yes, we are all 26. In case you were wondering. <laughs> That's the truth. Don't look it up. I have to be honest. I don't think the sweet and sour chicken slaps without the sweet and sour sauce. So has he scrambled your eggs? Okay. Well, he must have scrambled someone's eggs because he has three children. Wait, five children? No, he's... Oh my god. I was looking at his siblings. He's got five kids. Holy shit. Five kids. Damn, Gordon's been a busy man. Well, I've got 53 copper now, that's pretty good. He has six kids, no he doesn't. He has five. He did have another kid. He had a sixth in November, 2023. Is this all with the same woman? Oh my God, is she okay? seven years old you have made a very valid point yes he is how old is his oldest I have 13 geodes holy moly 30 22. She's 25. He's 24. He's... It doesn't say. It doesn't actually say how old he is. Oh, he's a kid. And she's 24. So maybe 20, 25 was the oldest? Oh my god. <clears throat> Robert De Niro just had another kid after 40 years. Imagine being like, oh yeah, this is my, this is my brother. He's 40 years older than me. When you're 20, they're 60 years old. Stop. You have a new grandpa. I'm just 
gonna plop this down. Imagine how many grandchildren he'll have. Oh my god, he's gonna have a ton. If they have kids. No. I, I mean, it sort of makes sense to me why celebrities have kids so late in life a lot of times. I imagine it's just, oh, my farming just went up, that it's just a bit, um, it's a little time consuming, you know? And uh, I, they don't really have a lot of time. That's my theory anyways. Was that corn ready? Uh, yes it was. I want my one random corn. You can tell those were like mixed seeds over there. I just got a random combo of stuff on that side. Oh my God, I shouldn't have sold the gold corn. I'm so stupid. Oh well. Well, he's clearly got good riz. He's got five children, six children. So, you know, his wife's not sick of him yet. Wait, how old is his wife? 49. Honestly, that's pretty impressive that she is still having kids. My my family goes through menopause in like their 30s. So my internal clock is ticking. No pressure. I don't really want, oh, look at the eggs. I don't really want kids. At least not right now. I mean, that could change later, I think. But like, God, the thought of having a kid right now, it just, it just, does, just doesn't sound like a good time. Oh, baby Fredo, they give it a 32 months. Kids scare me. That's really understandable. You know, nothing scares me more in this world than like a 13 year old girl. <laughs> like, they are so scary. They might be this, they're kind of, they remind me of velociraptors. <laughs> I mean that in like the best way. <laughs> they, do they not remind you of velociraptors? They're small, they're fast as shit, and they're mean. They're just vicious for no reason. They will hit you with a Stanley cup for no reason, because they think you're ugly. Anyways, that's my, um, that's my opinion on that. <laughs> Sephora kids. If I go into a Sephora and see a child, I'm turning around and getting the hell out of there. I'll just decide to come back another time. <laughs> I describe my daughter as a chaos gremlin. <laughs> That's pretty similar to a Velociraptor. <laughs> I'm so glad I was gaming alone in my room at 13 and not a bully. <laughs> I had no friends. I couldn't have been a bully if I tried. My daughter's 14 and she's terrifying. <laughs> I just love all the, all the moms that are like, actually, Sasha is correct. <laughs> Dude, what's up with that? I got two of those. That's so funny. Mine's two and I'm scared for my life. <laughs> oh man. Y'all are funny. Oh, is that it? When I worked in retail, these teenage boys were trying to hit on me and I wanted to throw up. 
Ew. That would make me so uncomfortable. My son's 14 and I can handle that. My daughter, however, terrifies me. There's just something about them when they're that age that is really scary. I work with teens and they are brutal, but when they compliment you, you know it's true. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Have you guys ever had a kid call you fat or something or ugly? And I just know that that's coming from, they have, they, they, I swear they don't have opinions. They just have what they think is fact. So when they say it, I just know that they really mean that. And then, um, and then I want to end it all. <laughs> <laughs> One day that's gonna be my final straw. I, I'm not gonna be able to take it anymore. I'm gonna be having a bad day. A kid's gonna say something mean about me and I'm gonna be like, all right, that's it. I've had enough. <laughs> Kate, that's awful. I would cry and then throw up. I'm a teacher. My student asked me why my outfits never match. <laughs> so mean. I work at a daycare and I had a kid ask me why my thighs were so big. That one would set me over the edge. I'd quit. I did in fact cry after that. It's very valid. When my daughter was little and I was getting dressed, she said, your bottom's all wiggly. Get the girl with the list real quick and write this stuff down. <laughs> my self-esteem is already shot. I can't do any more. A twain. My niece was playing I Spy with me and said I spy something red and said it was my pimples. See, that one was premeditated. Like she literally planned that. She was like, oh, I got a good one. That is rough. I'm here, can I have presents? <gasps> Yay, geodes. Anything else? Um, my best friend in high school, he, um, he had this little, this little demon gremlin cousin who was probably like seven or eight years old, okay? He was the epitome of what I think living in hell would be like. It would just be dealing with him all day. Um, he would, he didn't know me. We had just met. This is like a family gathering. He ran around all day slapping me. And he's eight years old. So we basically see it eye to eye. He's my height and I can't escape him. And he's got this diabolical laugh. And I was like, what do I do? I can't like hit this kid back. Cause he's like seven. What the hell am I supposed to do? And so I just got, I was just covered in like bruises. And like people kept trying to get him to stop but he would be like, <laughs> and then like keep doing it. The parents didn't care. I was being assaulted. But he would hit me so hard. And I was like, how can he hit so hard? He was just born. But the more that I was like, please stop, the more he wanted to do it. So I literally was like stuck in a cycle I could not get out of. My out for 2024 is being nice to children. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> That's so funny. 
they weren't my family. That's the thing. Now, if they were my family, I would have slapped back. I would have been like, it's only fair. But we were not, so. And of course, it's like, you know, I'm meeting this this family for the first time and I wanna make a nice impression and it's like, granted I didn't see his uncle and his aunt very often, so I never saw this cousin. I'm, no, I think I saw his cousin twice. The second time I was like, I have to go. I can't be here with this little demon. He was terrifying. I still have nightmares about him to this day. These middle schoolers have been harassing the place I work for months and every time I see them I get so anxious. Plus they're now banned. Wait, what are they doing? The most I ever did as far as like hanging around places was I would just go to the mall and walk around and not shop because I didn't have any money. But I feel like that's what everyone did because there wasn't really anything else to do. Just like kind of a mall rat. I would just go to Barnes and Noble and sit on the floor. <laughs> that's pretty much all I ever did. So it seems like not much has changed, really. What a rebel. <laughs> I stole something one night because I was being a follower and I cried all night. I would have returned it. <laughs> I can't, I cannot. I shouldn't cut down trees in town. But what if I do? What's the, what's the punishment? It's nice. You know, it's so crazy is these 12 year olds are already vaping and stuff. Are they really? So close to having the amount of wood I need for this. Make one more tree. No, oh, just let me cut it down. There was a toy I saw. It was baby's first vape, and it was a fake plastic vape. That is the worst thing I've literally ever heard in my life. I saw a video of a literal baby vaping the other day. Huh? Wait, did the parents like put the vape in its mouth? Oh, is this like a viral TikTok? I have not seen it. Also, I hate the word viral. I don't know why I said that. Whoop. I hate the word influencer. Me too. I also don't like that word. I feel like it's a rev like a relatively new word. Because a few years ago, I feel like that word didn't really exist. You would just say YouTuber. But I guess now that you can be a content creator, I would say content creator. I feel like that makes sense. I create content. But like, um, but I guess when like the Instagram content creators kind of blew up, that's when that word 
really came about. Because before, like, no one ever called me that or said that word. Influencers are like um, people who do a lot of brand deals and make content. Usually, I mean, it's kind of like what I am, but I would pr I prefer saying content creator because I feel like influencer just has like has a really bad like connotation with it. Because a lot of influencers are like not great people, and uh, I don't like that word. <laughs> Yeah, it's more like lifestyle content, I agree. But I mean, you could call me that. I mean, that falls kind of in the same description. But I'm not like constantly trying to get you guys to buy anything. I will if I like it. Um, I do need to sell one. I'll just sell it, it's okay. Oh wait, did I did I sell the other thing? Uh, I did, okay. I'm gonna sell this. I've been getting so many geodes lately, like crazy. Hi, Lily. One of my mom's friend's kids is demonic. One time we came over to their house because their cat I just gave a birth to kittens and that little <laughs> censored <laughs> like that was being so rough with one of the kittens that my sister yelled at him. His mom ended up yelling at my sister. No, I feel like kids need to know that they're being too rough. One time a kid pet Yuna's head too hard. Now I think that's why she hates kids. What was that noise? Gonna influence y'all real quick. Castor oil is the best thing in the world. I've actually never tried it. Oh, oh my house! Pretty. It's a little squished in here. <laughs> the annual trout derby has begun. Well, geez, that was fast. I'm not ready. I don't know if the TV should go there. I'm not super pleased with it. Maybe here. You're on the same day as me, that's funny. So I don't know what the Trout Derby is. I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, I need a melon, okay. The trout derby is so fun. Wait, really? I think this will be my probably my last day because I do have to get going. Told my family I was gonna meet them. I think I'm just gonna drive myself so I can leave. <laughs> so I can leave what I want. <laughs> No offense to them, but that's always a good move. Oh wait, no, that's already water. I do the same thing. I just get like a little overwhelmed sometimes and I'm just like, I wanna go home. So yeah. Love my family. But you know, my throat already hurts. I can only take so much. My social battery drains like an iPhone from 2007. That's a really funny analogy, actually. <clears throat> okay, 
Okay, so where is this trout derby they speak of? Oh, fine, I'll bring him a melon. Well, if I can. Oh, it's by Marnie's? Holy cow, look how many trees are on my freaking farm. This is widowily out of control. down. Who are those girls? Fishing sisters. We are the famous fishing sisters. We'll fish as many fish as we wish. Na na na. <laughs> I'm scared of them. Who are you people? Felt a nibble. <laughs> I know it's not a competition, but still, whoever gets the most tags will have bragging rights for the rest of the year. I'll be back in winter for Squid Fest. Now that's a real challenge. Of course, some guy shows up wearing the same outfit as me. How embarrassing. <laughs> I think I'm a little overdressed. I came all the way from Grapleton for this. I'm not leaving without a bag full of trout. Welcome to the Trout Derby, what can I do for you? During this event, Rainbow Trout have a chance of carrying a golden tag. If you find one, turn it in here for a prize. Oh, I can't even see the prizes yet? Whoa, this is cool. Now this is the life. Nothing is more tranquil than a day of trout fishing. Any luck? Most of the bites I'm getting are from the mosquitoes. Word. Where I come from, they call me Trout Man. Yep, I spent five years learning how to think like a trout. Pretty simple, actually. Food, food, food. Lay eggs, rest, eat more food. I happen to like food myself. Not so good at laying eggs, though. <laughs> I'll give it a go. <laughs> Who are you people? I don't want what you're selling. I got one. Guys! What do I do with it? Do I get a reward now? Tint kit! What is a tent kit? Use this to deploy a one-time use tent for sleeping. Can only be used outdoors. Are you serious? That rocks. That is so cool. Maybe the mystery box will have another mystery box again. I cannot believe that. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? So if it has a present, we have a pretty good chance of getting it then. Oh, never mind. So does it always have to have a present? Is that, is that correct? 
Does that tree have vines or something on it? It's moss. You can collect moss from certain trees. <clears throat> so how do I know if I get one? Pop into your inventory, treasure not required. Slay. So I just got like super duper lucky on that first one then. My bopper, it's a cat. <laughs> I had to make bait for these events because I was getting impatient. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more, I think. But did all my luck run out? Now I'm not getting any. in your streamer luck too early. So true. Wait, this could be one. That is a pike. I'm playing on Steam. Give me a ticket. My inventory's full. Really? Give me a reward. It's Brittany, bitch. Oh my god, thank you so much, Kayla, for the raid. Look, I'm doing the, the trout derby. It's a big day. Oh, wait, Kayla, you get to fish. Fire to me. What does that mean? You need to look up who Pookie is on TikTok. Thank you for the raid and for the 52 months. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. We are on Trout Day. I don't know what this day is called. I'm just checking it out. I found a little golden tag on my very first fish. And I got like that little camping set thing. But, um, my luck has depleted. And my inventory's full. I was so lucky. Yeah, I got this tent kit. Use this to deploy a one-time use tent for sleeping. So I guess, like, so I don't pass out. Which is pretty cool. Maybe we use it today! I think Kayla was also playing Stardew Valley, right? I think I saw that. Are we all just hopelessly addicted? I was supposed to play the Princess Peach game today. And I just couldn't do it. Just didn't want to. I also got a mystery box. It is addicting. Um, I need help. What was I doing? Oh, I wanted to get 50 bait. Perfect. 
I unfortunately don't have the bait maker thing yet. I could probably make it if I went to the beach. Winter's your favorite in Stardew? I feel like it's my least favorite. I feel like there's not a lot to do, but you do, I feel like you decorate a lot of your farm in that season. <clears throat> what do you like about winter? There's a lot more to do now. Oh. Oh. Maybe I just don't know what I'm missing because I haven't gotten to winter in this update yet. Let's go, dude. I got a freaking golden tag. Ooh, triple shot espresso times two. The twins are freaking terrifying. They are super duper scary. The winter music is pretty good and there's a new crop. Ooh. They will murder me in my sleep. That's literally what I was thinking when I was talking to them. So I was like, my house is so close to where we are right now. They're gonna find me. Oh, they're getting frustrated up there. Why does the one on the island look like Pam a bit? I actually thought it was Pam. You know what though, is I'm gonna be so rich from all this fishing. Oh my God. Are you serious? What is that luck? May Corky, you're the 32 months. Oh, it's 6.30 p.m.? I was gonna go, I was about to go open my little mystery boxes. He is closed. Swap your bait. Okay. Streamer look. All the presents I've been getting today have been crazy. I also think I just upgraded my fishing skill. <laughs> or leveled up, sorry. You have to do a at on your name, Sammy. Does fishing get affected by the luck? I thought it did, like presents. Like the little treasures. I thought that those were more frequent when you had better luck. Now I could be making that up, but that's what I've always thought. Let's go, okay, let's see. A sprinkler. Oh, come on. That could have been better. Dude, look how big it's making the bar. This this bait. This bait goes crazy. Felt a nibble. <laughs> I got a stick. <laughs> uh 
Uh, the fishing works if you sub, resub, or donate at least 300 bits. And then mods also have the ability to just manually do it. But that's mostly so that if it borks and someone doesn't get a fish, that they can give it to them manually. Right now, they're just having fun. <laughs> oh my god, I got more of it! This is the luckiest day of my life! We get one fish per stream. <laughs> Hold on, I'm really focused. Oh god, my energy. I am exhaust. I'm gonna have so much money tomorrow. This is a two day event, right? Yes! Two of these, I got two. Warp totem to my farm. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna go sell all these fishies. <laughs> I love the sonar bait. I haven't used it. That would actually be really helpful though. But my, I don't have the, um, oh my God, I need to cut down these trees. I don't have the upgraded fishing rod yet. I have this one. <clears throat> oh, maybe that is the only one I have. Oh my god, that turtle was worth a lot of money. Okay. I don't know what that's doing in here. We are going to be literally so rich. All those fish plus four gold mayo? I have not drank the mayo yet. I'm honestly too scared. <laughs> it just, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, we have to be Zen. Thank you. Hey, yo. <laughs> Ooh, Deluxe Mermian. Thank you, Cookie, for the 300 biddies. Also, Bella, thank you for the 18 months. Let's see how much money I made. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm over 10K again. That's pretty good, y'all. I gotta text back my mom. Uh, okay, y'all. Unfortunately, I do have to go. My family is waiting for me. If they weren't though, I would like you all to know that I'd be playing Stardew for the rest of the evening, okay? I would not be quitting. I'm not a quitter. What is that, Broski Nation? <laughs> that is not the video I wanted to play. What is up, Broski Nation? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> they thought it was that and not something really weird. <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny. <laughs> All right, y'all. I think I'm just gonna head out. I'll see y'all on Monday. And um, we'll be playing probably some more Stardew. I gotta be honest. It's really all I wanna do right now. Am I doing anything else? 
Oh yeah, it's Easter this weekend. If you celebrate Easter, happy Easter, everyone. Um, but otherwise, have, have a good weekend. And enjoy your time. If you're not following the stream, please do. Make sure notifications are on as well so you can see my secret notification squad messages. And also, if you ever miss a stream or you want to watch any more of my streams, I upload all of them to YouTube. I have a second channel, Expedition Point VOD. It's called Squasha Squad. Or sorry, Squasha Streams. <laughs> and uh, all of my streams are uploaded there if you ever want to go watch. So check out that channel. And also my main channel if you haven't seen that one either. It's just Vixella. I'll be uploading the Barbie episode from today. Um, hopefully like next week, but I will try to have a video out in the next couple of days. So I've been a little behind because I've just been trying to get back into normal life. But um, I think that's all I have to say. I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Happy Easter, everyone. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. This song is too sad. Give me something good. Anything. It's... Okay. Goodbye.